In this video, we are going to discuss installing Hadoop for single node cluster. And here we shall mention the step step by step so that you can follow and also you can do the same at your end. So let us start the installation process discussion. Now at first we are going for the installation of SSH and RSync. But before going for that, we will be discussing three terminologies. The first one is the secure shell that is SSH. What is that? Then we shall go for RSync that is a remote sync and the last one is a pass phrase. So let us go for the respective definitions. So is this SSH is a protocol for cryptographic network for operating network services securely over an unsecured network. So that is the definition of SSH that means it is a protocol for cryptographic network for operating network services securely on an unsecured network. Next one is the remote sync that is the R-Sync. So is a remote and local file synchronization tool. So sometimes it may happen that the two files which is at the local and at the remote the file content may have got changed. Then it is not transferring the full file but it is transferring that portion of the file where the updates were done. So depending upon that the remote sync will work and obviously that will have the less amount of data transfer. So it uses an algorithm that minimizes the amount of data copied by moving the portions of the files that have got some changes. Next one is a pass phrase. So a pass phrase is a sequence of words or other text used to control the access of, of one computer system. And this particular computer system or program are also on data. A passphrase is similar to a password in usage, but it generally required for the added security of our data. So these are the three terminologies that are there. Now let us go step by step, one by one for the installation of Hadoop for single node cluster. So here we are having two operations are to be done. So first one is the install SSH and RSync and then you shall go for SSH without passphrase setup. So to do this one we require to issue these two commands that is sudo apt-get install SSH then sudo apt-get install rsync. So these two commands are to be executed to install SSH and rsync on our system. These two commands we are executing from the dollar prompt. So SSH without parse phrase setup. So the command will be SSH hyphen keygen minus T RSA. After that, we are supposed to press enter for three times without entering anything. So three times enter is to be pressed. Then we shall go for cat then SS dot SSH slash ID underscore RSA dot pop. So this particular file is there. Under the, under the home path, this particular file, we are doing the cat means where it is printing the content of the file, but not we are not printing the content of the file on the console, we are redirecting it to this respective file in this particular folder existing. So this command has to be executed, then SSH localhost. So these two commands are to be executed after pressing enter three times issuing this command. Now open the browser. So in the Linux, we will be having one browser, open the browser and go to this particular link. So this link has been created, has been given here. So just copy this particular link and type this particular link at the URL of that browser and then click on the highlighted link. So here you can find if you put this particular link on the browser URL, this web page will get opened and this particular web page is having this particular file that is a Hadoop hyphen 2.4.1.tar.gz. So this is a file which has to be highlight, which has been highlighted here and it has to be clicked there. Now open up the terminal. To open up the terminal, we are supposed to go for control alt T and then create a directory called the Hadoop at the home directory. So how to create this directory? Just issue the command mkdir Hadoop. So just issue this command mkdir hadoop then one directory will get opened. Now edit the slash etc slash profile file and add the following lines. So profile file is existing under the folder that is slash etc slash. 
So, under this folder, there is one file that is a profile file where these lines are to be written. You can open this file in gedit and then you can type these lines and then save and exit from the gedit. And then to make it effective onto the system, whatever you have typed extra, just execute this file dot slash etc slash profile. So, in this way, you can execute the file. So, whatever the changes you did in the profile file, the corresponding changes will be obtained onto the system. Now, copy the downloaded Hadoop that is a Hadoop hyphen 2.4.1.tar.gz. So, the file which we downloaded from the respective URL which I shown you earlier into the Hadoop directory and then go to this directory and using terminal and then enter the downloaded tar.gz file. So, just go to the download folder where you downloaded there and then copy those files and then now put those files under the Hadoop folder and follow the lines to go to the Hadoop directory. So, just go to the Hadoop folder and the files which were copied from the downloaded folder to the Hadoop folder now execute tar xzf for the untar operation. So, tar xzf and then Hadoop start. So, the file which was copied from the downloaded folder to the Hadoop folder those tar.gz files will be untar here and this much you are going to do for this single node cluster installation on Hadoop. Thanks for watching this video.